Okay, so I have an iPhone 4, and then I have the new uh, iPhone 5. And you can actually see the differences in the size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the differences in uh, um, cellular um, internet speeds. And if I can find the... Oh, crap. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the differences in the uh, internet connectivity. Uh, as you can see, LTE versus 3G, aka 4G, HSPA plus, you know how it is. This one's running uh, 5.0, 5.01. This one's running 6.0. That shouldn't make a big difference, but uh, we'll see. Okay. Pretty bad. Yeah, those are the Berkeley servers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and change that. Let's see. Mm. I mean, the the Modesto and Auburn ones are kind of slow. Um, let's try Paul Alto. Because it just says fiber in it. And I like fiber. So I have fiber at home. So I'm going to write and retry that. Sometimes it's better to not do it yourself. Can you take a personal check? Right now at Honda's Don't Do It Yourself Trade Event. Get top value for any trade in without the hassle. And enjoy 0.9% financing. Well, the upload is pretty bad on the uh, iPhone 5, but. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a lot better than on the regular iPhone 4. Anyways, a pretty big difference. Anyways, that concludes my drunken test of... Oh, I'm already out of cellular internet connectivity.